Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the poem Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novels so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the poem are The literary devices of the poem are Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare is a famous poem that compares the beauty of a person to the beauty of nature. The speaker begins by asking whether he should compare the person to a summer's day, noting that summer has its flaws like too much heat and rough winds. Instead, the speaker argues that the person's beauty is more constant and everlasting. The poem praises the person's beauty, suggesting that their loveliness will not fade or diminish with time. The speaker claims that the person's beauty will live on forever through the words of the poem itself. The poem is a celebration of the enduring nature of true beauty and the power of poetry to immortalize it. The poet opens with an intriguing question, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? This rhetorical device sets the stage for a captivating comparison, inviting the reader to consider the beloved's beauty in relation to the natural world. The poet then declares, thou art more lovely and more temperate. This statement immediately establishes the beloved superiority over the fleeting beauty of a summer's day. Summer days, though often associated with warmth and pleasantness, are also susceptible to unpredictable changes, from scorching heat to gusty winds. The beloved, in contrast, embodies a consistent and enduring beauty, unaffected by the whims of nature. In the second stanza, the poet further elaborates on the beloved's exceptional beauty. He describes their features as rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. These lines paint a vivid picture of the impermanence of summer's beauty. The delicate buds of May are easily ravaged by harsh winds, and summer's lease, or duration, is all too brief. The beloved's beauty, however, stands in stark contrast to this fleeting nature. Their eyes are described as eternally shining, and their golden complexion remains untarnished by time. These phrases emphasize the timeless and enduring quality of the beloved's beauty, suggesting that it transcends the limitations of the physical world. The third stanza introduces a shift in tone as the poet acknowledges the inevitable decay of physical beauty. He states, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and an every fair from fair sometime declines. These lines serve as a reminder of the transitory nature of human beauty, even when it is as radiant as a summer's day. Despite this acknowledgement, the poet maintains his unwavering admiration for the beloved. He asserts that the beloved's beauty will outlast the physical realm, ensuring its immortality. Their eternal summer shall not fade, and this eternality will be preserved through the power of poetry. In the concluding couplet, the poet unveils the mechanism through which the beloved's beauty will achieve immortality. He declares, so long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lies this, and this gives life to thee. These lines encapsulate the essence of the poem's message. The beloved's beauty, immortalized through poetry, will endure as long as humanity exists. The poet's words will become the vessel that carries the beloved's radiance through the ages, ensuring that their beauty remains a beacon of inspiration for generations to come. Who is the speaker addressing in Sonnet 18? The speaker is addressing an unnamed person, commonly referred to as the fair youth. What is the significance of the opening line, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? The opening line introduces the central conceit of the poem, where the speaker contemplates comparing the fair youth to a summer's day. What is the speaker's attitude towards the person they are addressing? The speaker has a very positive and admiring attitude towards the person they are addressing. They compare the person to a summer's day, which is typically associated with beauty and warmth. The speaker also says that the person's beauty is eternal and will never fade. What are some of the specific qualities that the speaker admires in the person? The speaker admires the person's beauty, their eyes, their complexion, and their gentle nature. They also admire the person's constancy and their ability to remain unchanged even in the face of time. What role does nature play in Sonnet 18? Nature serves as a metaphor for the transient and unpredictable aspects of life contrasting with the timeless beauty of the subject. What is the meaning of, but thy eternal summer shall not fade in Sonnet 18? This line suggests that the beauty of the fair youth will remain eternal and will not diminish with time. 
Why does the poet mention the darling buds of May in Sonnet 18? The mention of the darling buds of May symbolizes the freshness and beauty of spring, emphasizing the temporal nature of the season. What is the significance of the phrase death brag thou wanderest in his shade in Sonnet 18? The poet suggests that the fair youth's beauty will be immune to the destructive forces of time and death. Why is Sonnet 18 often referred to as a shall I compare thee to a summer's day? The opening line has become a popular reference for the entire poem, and it captures the essence of the speaker's contemplation of the fair youth's beauty. What is the historical context of the poem? The poem was written during the Elizabethan era, which was a time of great cultural and artistic flourishing. The poem is a reflection of the Renaissance ideals of beauty, love, and perfection. What is the poem's enduring appeal? The poem's enduring appeal is due to its universal themes of love, beauty, and immortality. The speaker's heartfelt expression of love and admiration for the person they are addressing resonates with readers of all ages and cultures. Why is Sonnet 18 considered one of Shakespeare's most famous sonnets? Sonnet 18 is celebrated for its timeless themes, eloquent expression, and the enduring appeal of its message about the immortality of beauty through poetry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.